Hi everybody, Cinema4DR17 is here and I would like to show you in this tutorial a very special rig that's a part of the Cinema4D Visualize library. I am Pavlozov from www.c4d.cz and I am an author of the rig. The rig is especially for uh, architects and designers and all artists those actually need to build an interior scene or something like that. I really believe the rig I did should be very helpful for you. Ok, let's start. Go to your content browser, choose the presets. Visualize. Use the 3D objects folder and choose the shelling folders here. Open the folder and contain three subfolders. Just the module cabinet and drawers is the folder of the focus. Open the folder and it contains several objects here and other subfolders as well. Uh, let's start with the Miss Cabinet Examples folder here. Use double click and load the Big Cabinet Example for instance. It doesn't matter. Ok, and go closer and study the object we loaded deeply. It's uh, a pretty complex object as you can see. It has many details such as these surroundings and handles and uh, drawers and so on, the token details and so on. It's the fairly well detailed object as you can see. But let's say the total dimension is wrong. I have to adjust it. And concrete uh, value is important, of course. Just use the user data tab and adjust its dimension. Okay. I have uh, to adjust uh, this depth as well. Okay, it's here and done already. It was pretty fast. I would like to have more drawers here. Three, for instance. That's not a problem. So open the cabinet object hierarchy and find the door horizontal object. Uh, set the object and change the doors count value here. Ok. Let's say I would like to change the height of the top drawer. Ok, no problem. Uh, Here is a spline. I will create a new control point and move it up. Perfect, we got a different look. Let's continue. Let's say we don't like the token detail here. So, select the main cabinet object, go to Attributes Manager and turn off the toe kick trigger and reduce uh, the toe kick height value as well. It's updated simultaneously as you can see. It's very powerful, very flexible and definitely very fast. Here at last uh, we have to adjust is uh, the shelves distribution height value. Ok, done. It's really very very powerful object. It can be used at 90% of all cabinet shapes you can Im imagine. But uh, it definitely needs a deep understanding of course. Ok, so set the object you can delete it and go back to the content browser, go up and use the main folder of the rig and let's study it deeply. It uh, contains uh, several objects we, as we know. Uh, the main object of the rig is the cabinet. Here are two other additional doors objects, they are called doors, door horizontal and door vertical and all handle objects you can see play a role of handles examples only, they aren't a part of the rig. Just use this one or feel free to prepare your own if you like to. Let's start with the cabinet. Yes, it takes some time if you need a multi-trading support, definitely. Ok, uh, set the object and go closer. Uh, as you know already, we can adjust its dimension here. Here is its height and that and so on. But I actually have to adjust the shelf's look as well. So to go down and adjust its depth. It can't be deeper than the current depth of the cabinet of course. But I will set some, uh, some offset here. So minus 3, it looks perfectly. And let's adjust its count. So increase it to 3 for instance and adjust the distribution height value as well. Ok, and we can uh, we can tweak it by the distribution spline. Oops, I forgot the important information. Because the rig is a part of the visualized package, uh, it doesn't use any MoGRA feature. It's just, it just generates some instances and objects as all. So it isn't restricted from a functionality point of view. It's nice. Ok. Go up and let's say uh, we would like to do a corner kitchen cabinet, for instance. So let's adjust uh, its uh, dimension again, use 40 here. And set it the same here as well and set the height to 90. 
and turn off uh, its side so we can turn off the right side for instance or the left it doesn't matter of course okay so it's definitely possible as you can see but check the back it's too thin it has to be thicker of course user settings again go to the back settings and adjust its thickness here it's adjusted and we can use some rounding here as well it will generate some nice looking natural effect okay we got a totally different look it's amazing go back and activate the right side again let's say i don't like the back so we can turn off the object and it works perfectly okay we can offset uh, shelves uh, from the back in case it's activated uh, so activate activate the back trigger again and we can play with uh, other options it has okay uh, let's adjust the thickness for instance we can use two or more but it doesn't affect the countertop object because it's control independently so use the original value and adjust the countertop thickness I use 4 or 3.6 for instance here and but I don't like the current look because the countertop doesn't cover the object size so activate the full width trigger and now it's much much better I have to adjust uh, the shells also a bit so I will adjust its depth okay and I think we can slightly offset sides inside because the countertop usually doesn't cover them so perfectly so the side offset value is here let's play with the value yes it's much better and we can use some front offset as well yes it fits perfect as you can see okay we got another different look again do you like the talking detail just imagine you want to place the command directly to the floor so activate the talking trigger here and increase the talking height value okay and move it up and use the offset and move it back from the front okay we got another different look again let's try to turn off the toe kick again and it's different again so we got a totally different shape than before perfect let's continue to study some detail settings that are here especially these surroundings and so on here's the main rounding settings it controls two roundings the first generates a funk restriction the second generates a standard bevel inside the restriction it uses two deformers we met uh, these uh, offset value so let's continue here is the countertop to rounding trigger we can turn off the option in case we want to convert the countertop and adjust it manually at the table state so for this particular reason we can turn off the trigger here otherwise leave it turn it on okay so we know everything about the toe kick functional already and here's the toe height it is the toe height uh, so uh, here is the back settings its thickness also rounding and so on and here's the shell settings it's a very easy to use and very easy to understand but it's still not enough because the rig has other parts we have seen them before they are called doors okay just improve the cabinet and prepare some doors but let's adjust its dimension first adjust its uh, its width uh, use 90 for instance and we can turn off the shelves because door will cover the space completely and so go back to your content browser and use the door vertical object for instance and go back to the object manager okay and open the cabinet object hierarchy and set the door as a child of the place your door here object it's really important to use it in this way and uh, that's all so it's just automatically already okay select the cabinet and adjust the main dimension the doors are updated automatically every time as you can see it's updated without any effort and without a human touch okay uh, so the vertical door object again and we can adjust the count here this particular door object can have just two different states only and we can control uh, doors ratio by the position value here 
okay, here is uh, the thickness, some rounding and edge offset above and so on. Okay, I would like to add some handles. Go back to your content browser, I just load a, a standard shaped handle, this one for instance. Uh, expand the hierarchy of the vertical door object again and just place the handle we prepared as a child of the place your handle here object. Select the door object again and go to attributes manager and we can adjust the handle's vertical position, horizontal offset, you can adjust it independently for both handles and we can adjust the its rotation as well and so on. Okay, this is the vertical door object, but there is uh, another one yet, a more complex door setup. It's called horizontal door. It's a bit more interesting, I think. So load the horizontal door object from the content browser again and use the same approach like before. It means uh, just place the object as a child of the place your door here object. That's it. Let's adjust the doors count here and as we, said, we have seen before, we can adjust its distribution. Add a new point uh, here and contrary by the way. And okay, let's say I would like to change a color of the top drawer. So uh, let's create a new material and unfold the hierarchy of the door horizontal object. I choose the spline generator object and unfold the object as well. Derek uses just several simple generators, that's all. So we can apply the new material to any object we want. So let's say apply uh, the material and place it here for instance. It works perfectly, as you can see. It means any door or any drawer can have its own surface. So we can generate a very random look if we want. Okay, I will move it here to this one and that's it. Done. For the object, check the door object settings, but it has similar settings we have seen already before. Okay, so, but let's say I would like to prepare some handles again. Yeah, for good. So use the content browser and load a plinth handle from the library. It doesn't matter which one and place it as a child of the place your handle here object as well. Okay, I have to adjust its dimension. It's too long. And don't forget, these objects aren't a part of the rig. You have to adjust them manually. Okay, and set the door horizontal again. And we have to adjust the door shape because it's not actually working properly. So we have to uh, shift uh, the top edge down. So here's the value that will help us. It's called add offset from the top. Done. And we can move the handle up a bit. So use the handle vertical offset value here. Okay, I will access this one a little bit more. It's actually done. It was perfectly and we got a totally different and very complex look again. Okay, I'm not sure about the plinth look I used here. So let's say a client isn't sure about it, for instance. So uh, go back to your content browser and load the second one and place it as a chart of the place your handle here object again. And just uh, change the used order here. Use it as a first and it will be applied. So all this is very important. Okay, I will adjust its length again. Okay, use 40 for instance, but it's not really important. It doesn't matter, of course. And we can simply change the order and show the client all handles variations of the cabinet we have. So we can easily decide what's the best for him or us. Doesn't matter. That's really all about this example. This is the cabinet trick of Cinema 4D R17 Visualize, but don't forget, you can freely combine more rigs together. Just use more object, objects, turn off all paths you don't actually need and a result can be very interesting. We are able to achieve a totally new look by the way. Let's prepare a simple example. Create a new cabinet, adjust its dimensions like before. I will adjust its thickness as well, all of them. Okay, and let's adjust its size. So the width can stay 90 for instance, set the Y to 40 and set the Z to 40 as well. Okay, I will increase the width, it looks red a bit. 
now it's a lot better okay and decrease the shells count value to zero but i would like to achieve a different look let's say the cabinet will be divided onto two parts the left side should stay opened and there uh, can be some drawers on the right side no problem select the object press the alt key uh, it will create a new parent object of the currently selected object and create a new null object okay and just uh, select uh, the cabinet itself and create a new copy of the object and move it right With the shift key that's all uh, perfect and but don't but we don't actually need uh, the countertop so we can turn off the option here yeah okay we don't need the back as well and we don't need the bottom desk either and we can turn off the right as well yeah <laughs> uh yeah uh, yeah i forgot i just the width of the object i totally forgot sorry 70 perfect done use the counter browser again and load the horns of the door object and places a child of the second of the second cabinet uh cabinets uh place your door of uh, here object yeah. got it we have to adjust the cabinet to uh, look a bit more because the countertop doesn't cover the drawers. So, adjust the offset. Okay, it's adjusted. So, edit the second object as well. Yep. It works perfectly. We got a totally new object, a very complex object that combines two independent cabinet rigs. So the combination trick can be really very helpful. Okay, I don't want to say the rig covers all possible looks and designs you can imagine. Maybe there's a space for future improvements, but it saves your time a lot already. Nobody knows, and I don't know either. Okay, we will see. I hope you will like the rig, and thank you for watching and see you at www.c4d.cz. And don't hesitate to contact me if you uh, they'll have some suggestions on need to build some special solutions and so on. See you next time!